YouTube, what's going on guys? Hey, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And you know what? Hit the like button too because you're gonna love this video. So, today, what I'm gonna be talking about is how to build a squeeze page. For those of you who are new to online business, a squeeze page is a way of getting someone's information, like their email and their name, in exchange for some offer that you have, whether it's a discounted product or a free product or a free PDF, or in, in, anything like that. You've probably heard the saying, the money is in the list, and that is 100% true. The money is in the list, the bigger your list is, the more money you're gonna make, and yeah, that's basically it. Subscribe, because I'm trying to build my subscriber list, and yes, hopefully I'll make money off this channel in the future, and hopefully, you'll get something out of this video. So, I'm gonna show you some tools real quick that you can use. Specifically, I'm gonna show you InstaBuilder and uh, AWeber. And hopefully these will be tools that you can use in your business to start building your list and freaking killing it online. Awesome, let's get into it. Boom. All right guys, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna make this quick for you. So let's just jump on into it. So I have uh, AWeber saved, and uh, what you would do is go in and type in AWeber into your search bar, sign up for a free trial, and then once you're in, go to Manage Lists, Create a List. I already have the information filled out so we can kind of zoom through this part, uh, if it will load. Come on now. Come on. Come on, Betsy. Jeez. What is the deal? There we go. All right. So, as you can see, I already uh, input some of this information. We're going to go next. List name is uh, test for YouTube. And it's going to be test for YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not how you spell YouTube. Uh -huh. And we're going to scroll down. This part is where the email, <clears throat> where you craft the email to your subscribers. So once they hit uh, submit because they just got your awesome offer, they're going to be sent an email and you're going to have a message to them that's going to be amazing. That's going to inspire them to subscribe and listen to you every day of their life. And it's definitely not going to look like this message. So you're going to want to spice it up a little bit. But for now, that's good enough. So approve. Boom, our list is created. Now we're going to go over to sign up forms. This is where we create our opt in squeeze page. We're going to create the first sign up form ever. This is amazing, right? It's so easy, guys. This is so easy. You can do this in your sleep. And we're going to come down here. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, you can do what you want, but I just come on. There, there we go. And then <coughs> proceed to steps two. So, step two. This is uh, your thank you page is where they are going to receive your offer. So it can be an affiliate link. It can be a PDF. Um, so you're going to you're going to want to do custom uh, URL here. And in this custom URL, you're going to put your affiliate link or you're going to put your web version of your PDF. And I'm going to show you really quick how to do that in case you're not familiar with how to create a web PDF. So. Let's go over to Microsoft Word, and I'm going to do um, web. Well, let's make this a little bigger, all right, so we can actually see it. Web PDF for you to test. Amazing, all right? So we are going to. So. Here we are, sorry, got distracted there for a second. So web PDF for YouTube test. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna save this as a PDF. Hopefully you know how to do that. It's very simple. I'm just gonna go down here, PDF. And we're gonna do Amazon business. Boom. Oh, PDF, oh, amazing. Now the next step is we're gonna go over to our WordPress account. Now. I use Bluehost um, as my hosting service, and I use WordPress for my 
website platform. I definitely recommend the combo. You can go with HostGator or you can go with GoDaddy. I definitely recommend for noobs to go with WordPress and InstaBuilder. It's definitely the most cost-effective way to go, and InstaBuilder makes this very easy. Uh, if you want to get fancy later, or if you want to just pay the money up front right now, you can go and do ClickFunnels. That's also easy, and that's also a great service. But for now, we're trying to save some money, and so we're doing WordPress with InstaBuilder. So log into WordPress. You can see my amazing site. It's definitely, you know, definitely ready to go. <laughs> so we're going to add new at media. So media, add new. We're going to browse for our file. Where's it at? Uh, I got my YouTube test. Rob is poor. And where is it? Where did it go? Uh, we'll just do YouTube test. We're going to take this. All right. Oh, I saw it. There's a web. Okay. So <clears throat> YouTube test. All right, <clears throat> now we're going to go back over to uh, our media library. And here you can see is the YouTube test. I have it loaded several times because you can see I, <laughs> I did a few takes on this and uh, failed. So hopefully this take will work. So right here you can see we have our URL. And we're going to take this URL and we're going to bring it back over to Aweber. And we're going to put it in here. <coughs> and let's preview this real fast. Oh, that's amazing. So hopefully your uh, web con your content that you're providing to your subscribers is almost as amazing as this PDF I just created right before your eyes. So next step here is we're going to go to step three. And uh, of course, we got to save our form. Install my web form. And we're going to want to do the raw HTML, right? Don't, don't do this. We're, we're doing this. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. So we're going to go back over to WordPress. And this is where we're going to get into InstaBuilder. And once again, guys, I have InstaBuilder and I have Bluehost. I have links below. Uh, I highly recommend uh, using the WordPress InstaBuilder Bluehost combo. Uh, you don't have to do Aweber, but Aweber, if you're... If you're going to use this video, you're going to want to use Aweber. So let's go in InstaBuilder. And let's create ourselves <coughs> a new squeeze page. So we're going to do squeeze pages, right? And uh, let's, let's go down and uh, let's see. Which one, which one, which one, which one? There's that one. Ah, there we go. Let's do this. This looks so professional. So we're going to edit around a little bit here. Um, so simple, guys. It's just so simple. So I, I, obviously we want to add the name. We want the name of the subscriber in here. So we're going to go to opt-in form fields, manage fields. As you can see, these check boxes have not been checked. Um, and that is for the first name. So we want that. So save. Boom. The next step is I want to get, even though this is a good looking woman and, and this is all great and everything, I want to put my logo back there or, or my picture. I, I know I'm a little bit conceited, but you know, it's just got to build that brand. So what we're going to do is going to go, go to page settings. We're going to go to background <coughs> image, go down to action. And uh, if my computer, there we go. And we're going to search for an image. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to upload an image. There it is. And there's the picture I'm looking for. Oh, you guys have seen this before. So <coughs> now we're going to put our code in here. So click back in onto the border here. Hit uh, settings, and uh, we're going to do the opt in form HTML code. Now, that's that code at Aweber we were just looking at. So, let's go back to Aweber. Let's copy in this code, right? And let's put her in here, and let's hit process down here. All right, so processing, and boom, there we go. So, 
I've created my opt-in, my squeeze page. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Um, if you wanted to mess with the text here and, and word this differently, which I definitely should have if I was going to make this a uh, legit offer, uh, do that. You know, if, if you're giving away, say, a PDF on how to lose weight, you would obviously word this on losing weight. I don't need to go into that. You guys know that. So we're going to hit publish. And it's published. It's ready to go. Uh, we're going to go back over to, uh, we're going to test this real fast, okay? We're going to go back over to WordPress and uh, sign in. I'm going to I'm gonna show you how you can test this once you've created yours. Good. We're going to go to my sites. We're going to log back in. Any day now. Come on. And then pages, and we're gonna see the page that I just created. And uh, let's see, general opt-in one minute ago. It's this one right here. So we're gonna click on it. Now, <coughs> see how the permalink, which the permalink is the, basically the link up here. See how it says general opt-in? You're gonna to wanna to change that. You're gonna to wanna to change the general opt-in part to whatever it is. So I'll just do YouTube test, and I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit update so that that permalink's updated. And let's let's go ahead and test this real fast. Let's make sure this, this thing that I'm showing you actually works. So let's copy this. And I'm gonna pull up Internet Explorer, the clunkiest of all web browsers. And let's just see, does this work? Yes, it does. And uh, let's do, Rob, we'll do a Weber test 21 at gmail.com. Give me my free report. And boom, look at that, there's my report. And now I have a new subscriber. Um, let's see real quick if, if that subscriber got his email like he should have. All right, all right. We're going to go down here to a Weber test. Yeah, I know I have a lot of emails. And did it work? Did it work? Oh, of course it did. Oh, and look at this enticing message. Oh, I'm going to subscribe. And boom. Now you have your first subscriber. You're on your way to building a freaking massive list and getting rich. Yes, go you. All right, so <clears throat> I just showed you how to do a opt-in to get a PDF. Now, what if you wanted to do an opt-in for an affiliate link? Well, um, what you could do is go over to ClickBank. Boom. And uh, log in or create an account. Uh, if you saw my other YouTube video, you saw you saw that I used this uh, dummy account. So we're gonna we're gonna go in here. Look at all those sales. Oh my gosh, I'm rich. Um, go to marketplace. Uh, let's just choose business and investing. Um, Let's, let's, let's look at this. All right, so here's the cryptocurrency offering. If Hi there, my name is investor, Nate Martin. Man. I'm a spokesperson for the so Cryptocurrency this is, Institute. This is where and in the next three minutes, I'm going to reveal to you a weird to but simple low-risk cryptocurrency investment loophole that has right. allowed students of ours to turn so, $20 into over $100,000 in just three months. Oh, wow. So let's go back um and let's let's promote this you know we, we think cryptocurrency is where it's at i mean look, bitcoin man if you bought bitcoin like three or four years ago and held on to that you, you're probably rich and you're probably not watching this video so we're going to promote um i'll i'll show you i'll give you a link to my uh clickbank tutorial it's very very simple if you don't know what i'm doing here and we're gonna hit create and boom there's our affiliate link. You're gonna copy that and you're gonna put that into the custom URL um, box where I had put the PDF web page link. And then instead of um, 
your subscribers being directed to the PDF, they'll be directed to that video we were just showing. And if if your if if that subscriber ends up purchasing this deal, then boom, you'll make some money, and then you'll be a little bit richer, and hopefully you'll have millions of subscribers that do that, and you'll be a millionaire. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I uh, I really do, and I really do mean what I say when. You should focus on building your list. And this is a simple way that you can do that. And it takes time and <clears throat> it, it takes adding value to, to people who are, who are looking for content and information that you have. Um, and if you can structure that content in a way that you can provide a PDF document or video or some sort of offering, people will gladly give their email for it. So really work on doing that, build your list. And, uh, yeah, it, it'll, things will just take off from there. So anyway, once again, I hope you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button <coughs> and, uh, YouTube. We'll see you later.